Hey, what's up everyone? Listen, what an amazing thing has just happened. Mark the date. I think it was the 18th of uh, October 2019. Black Magic Design released their final version of 16.1. And uh, there's been a little bit of a nugget in there for me in particular for the IMF community. Now, if I jump over and have a quick shot at this, what's highlighted is that ProRes and IMF's now enabled on Resolve Studio 16.1. Why is this amazing? Well, it's quite amazing because Semti and IMF and uh, the ST2121, it's been synonymous of J2K as a codec for IMFs to date. The larger, fantastic bits of software out there have been offering ProRes and IMFs, and uh, a lot of the large studios have been receiving ProRes and IMF, but it's kind of been out of reach. Now, for 299 euros, dollars, uh, pounds, you can then buy Resolve Studio um, 16.1, and now that is available into it. Now, what I can't find in any literature is this limited to just the Mac version. It's not really saying it. I don't have a Linux or a PC to test on, so please um, comment down below. Anyway, let's have a look at what this is all about. So in Studio Now, you used to be able to go out to your um, Deliver page, jump over to your IMF, and you used to be able to um, come down through here and you'd have Kakadu, J, uh, JPEG 2000, EasyDP, now you've got Apple ProRes. So you have to understand, this is a huge step forward. Now, why do I like Apple ProRes over um, JPEG 2000? There's a load of things, but from the advertising point of view, Apple ProRes is a lot more agile codec to be pushing around content than a JPEG 2000. Okay, so that's the kind of thing I'm moving towards that way. So I just wanted to get this video out to kind of show you all that this is a huge step forward for IMF, huge, huge step forward of Blackmagic Design designing to actually throw down the gauntlet to the other guys and say, okay, we're now putting ProRes within here. And apart from that, guys, have a go. You can look at this in the free version as well, or have a watermark on it. So um, get in, play. I've managed to bring it back in and make supplemental packages from it as well. The Telestream Switch 4.5.4 version can't play back the ProRes IMF, but I'm sure the lovely folks over at Telestream are beavering away to be able to get a release out that way. Because in theory, it's just Apple ProRes and MXF wrapper, which they can currently play. But anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and see you soon.